hear that. As Kristen said, the reading, the scripture for today is a very, very brief verse. And if you look in the bulletin, you'll see that it is from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 28. And when I left, Matthew is still in the New Testament, not the Old Testament. So just regard that it says in the Old Testament. But it is a very brief scripture, so you will have to listen very closely to what it says. Let's listen for the Word of God. Jesus speaks, saying, And remember, I am with you always, to the end of the age. This is the word of the Lord. Sounds like a great idea. So we were 
so we crossed the aqueduct, and when we got on the other side, we find ourselves kind of boxed in by three sides were barbed wire fence, and the fourth side was a canal. And it started to cross my mind that maybe we were not on the right path. <laughs> so I said to my nephew, Zach, hey, Zach, I'll stay here and protect Abby and Jane. <laughs>
believe to worship Jesus and acknowledge Him as our Lord and Savior is probably the best thing that we can do. But this hour of worship is just the tip of the iceberg of the presence of God. So all of us, including me, need to regain the idea that Jesus is with us always, just like Jesus said, but especially present for us in fellowship of the adventures of our lives. When we read the Bible, we realize that God is especially made known in those wonderful characters and fascinating and exciting stories of the Bible. In the Old Testament, when Moses sees that burning bush and he approaches it on that holy ground, he knows he is in the presence of God. And Elijah, when he's being pursued by all of those enemies, they just want to catch him and kill him. He climbs up on that mountain and he knows he is in the presence of God in that still, small And those Israelites, those fantastic, weird, different, scary, menacing, murderous Israelites, when they're bringing that Ark of the Covenant in, what are they doing? They're dancing around, they're celebrating, they're drumming, because they know the presence of God is right there. There's not a doubt in their mind. Realize that God with them always. Now you know me. I've been here 10 years. You know I'm a church person. I grew up in the church. I identify with church practices and processes. And when it comes to the church, nobody is more set in their ways than I am. I'm a rock of Gibraltar when it comes to the firm foundation of the church. I love it. Friends, the church, all of you, all of, all of us, we must relax our exclusive claims on God. God is as present over at Starbucks right now as God is present right here. God is as active right now over at Irvington. Plaza, as God is active in our preschool room upstairs. <coughs> Last week at Purdue, with those 5,000 teenagers and another 1,000 adults, there was a church robe in sight. There was a handbook around. There wasn't a book of order for anyone. There wasn't much liturgy at all. Worshiped outside one evening. And it was hot, and it was humid, and there were gnats and mosquitoes, and there were bats flying around in the air. But was God present? Probably most people, if not all people, would say, well, yes, absolutely, of course. And all those youth, what did they do? They danced, and they were singing, and they laughed, and they enjoyed communion. And after worship, we took them back to their dorms, all 5,000 of them. And then, of course, they tried to sneak out of the dorms at night. <laughs> but we caught them. And we threatened them to send them home. 
mountaintop experiences, mountaintop experiences that they will remember for the rest of their lives. And so, yes, Jesus is going to be on those mountaintop experiences. We can't recreate those. I disagree. Those are not mountaintop experiences. They're just experiences. Just as my adventure on the Greenway Trail was an experience, as was the fish fry an experience, vacation Bible school was an experience. Just as when you go into the hospital, it's an experience. Going down to Kroger out here is sometimes an experience. <laughs> this Tuesday, seniors go on by. That's going to be an experience. God does not need 5,000 high school kids to be present. God just needs you. And remember, I am with you always, Jesus said. And so, let us reclaim the presence of God in all of our adventures, whether they be good or bad or happy or sad, let's release the God of mischief from our pent-up anxieties and not tie down God to this one hour of worship. Yes, we have a comfort level in this one hour, and we find great meaning in this one hour, but there's plenty of hours left in the week. In fact, there's 167 hours. I counted them. And I suspect that in, the, in those 167 hours, you're going to be doing a whole variety of things. Eating, sleeping, working, playing, laughing, maybe even crying. What would it mean for you to believe that in every one of those hours, Jesus is with you. Because that's his promise. You heard it. Remember, I am with you always. Not just in the church, but always. Do you believe it? Now, if I was at the Triennium, and I said, do you believe it? All 5,000 kids would say, yes! <laughs> Do you believe it? Yes! yes! I'll sign you up as chaperones. <laughs> <laughs> Last week, at that youth triennium, one of the adult chaperones in the dormitory that I was trying to manage was a man from South Dakota. He's probably about 75 years old. Chaperone, sleeping with those kids, trying to control them, having a heck of a trial time. One day he came up to me. Squaw. Got to myself to go to ask. He came up to me laughing and giggling and just smiling from ear to ear. And I said, What are you laughing about? What's so funny? Because I was exhausted. <laughs> He said, I was standing in line for my lunch, and this high school girl came up to me, and she asked me a question. I said, well, what did she ask me? She said, what year in high school are you? <laughs> Dakota and hit the water. <laughs> and you know what? 
protection. A God of mischief. A God who is with him and with us always. Whether we are in church or over at Starbucks or at Kroger or whether we're standing in line with a young high school youth. If we live with the belief that God is always with us, then there's nothing that can hold us down for long because God wants us to live fully. God wants us to enjoy the adventure of life. 168 hours of every week starting right now for the rest of our life. Blessed be this God of adventure who is with us always. In the name of the Father and the Son,